Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, April 16th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. As mentioned in the early Special Monday episode, Palo Alto Networks notified users of a critical, already exploited vulnerability affecting its global Protect product. As promised, uh, Palo Alto released a hotfix on Sunday. As usual, test the hotfix. It uh, was released just before uh, midnight, at least here, East Coast uh, time. Affected systems should also display a warning in the management console, notifying users of the vulnerability and of the availability of a patch. Now, one of our readers, Mark, shared that they saw actual attempts on Saturday that attempt to exploit this vulnerability. They have a number of different global protect instances across their infrastructure. Pretty much all of them were attacked. A couple that were not attacked were fairly new. So one assumption here is that they're working off not the very latest list of vulnerable devices. Could be something like Shodan or such, which of course is not always uh, quite that up to date. Haven't heard anything uh, from others, so this is a single observation at this point. I published a quick update uh, with also the IP addresses that Mark observed attacking them. The attack was not successful in this case, and these devices also had telemetry turned off, which is the recommended workaround and appears to be working so far. Now, pretty much at the same time where Palo Alto released its issues, there was another vulnerability that I want to mention that the uh, meant a little bit under the radar, and that's an authentication bypass vulnerability in the Delinea secret server. This vulnerability affects the SOAP API, Delinea, also formerly known as Thycotic, so maybe you still refer to it by that name. It manages access to approach accounts and secrets across enterprises. So really one of those uh, crown jewel uh, kind of uh, products. The Linea first published about the issue on Friday and then later over the weekend released patches. They also patched their cloud instances. So at this point, it's really up uh, to those users who run it on premise to also patch uh, their instances of uh, this software. The vulnerability was reported by a researcher and the linear said that in their environment, they didn't see any exploitation of this vulnerability. And if you're using a LANcom router, be aware that the Windows Setup Assistant may clear out the root password. This will happen if multiple administrator accounts are provisioned and one of these additional administrators is using the Windows Setup Assistant to upload a configuration change. In this case, the root password will just be cleared out. So an empty root password will work. The vulnerability was actually introduced with a patch a few months ago. It's a fairly recent version of the operating system here that is vulnerable. If you're lucky, you were behind on patching on this one. And PHP released updates for its currently supported versions. There are sort of two notable patches here. One is the window command execution issue that I mentioned last week that affects multiple languages. So PHP now came out with a patch after Node.js and Rust last week. There's also an interesting vulnerability in the password verify function. If a password hash starts with a null byte, the password verify function may always return true if a blank string is used to compare it with. There was actually many years ago a similar vulnerability in PHP and uh, the root cause was that basically the null byte terminates string. So the string was then considered empty if uh, the first byte was uh, zero. Duo notified some of its customers that SMS and voice over IP logs leaked. Luckily, the logs did not contain the actual message, which would be your one-time password in this case, but recipient phone numbers were leaked, which 
is of course uh, not good and uh, could be used for some interesting follow-on attacks. If you were notified by Duo, maybe let your users know if they're seeing some odd SMS messages or other phishing, phishing style attacks that are sort of more targeted towards uh, Duo users to uh, be aware and uh, be on the lookout for these attacks. And finally, LastPass published an interesting blog with details of an attempted deepfake attack against its employees. The attack attempted to impersonate the CEO of the company in a video call. Now, they were sort of lucky here. The call used WhatsApp, which is not typically uh, used uh, within uh, LastPass, and also heads of that typical fake urgency. No matter what the attack medium, AI, fake, uh, SMS, Facebook, whatever, the fake urgency is really usually the giveaway that uh, this is some kind of a fake, some kind of attack. And uh, that's probably something that you want to bring home in your training uh, to watch out uh, for uh, that kind of uh, urgency. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.